Hello and welcome back to Let's 100% Grand Theft Auto Vice City. This is Vertical Sandwich, and we're picking up our Bulletproof Admiral because we are going to do the Death Row mission. I actually have failed this mission once already. I've kept it as a video, I will probably... Maybe post it as a bonus video or something, I, but I tried to do this mission with a helicopter. And <laughs> failed mis- I actually almost succeeded. I all, which makes the, the failure that much more miserable. And maybe it'd be entertaining to watch or something, but I end up, like, my helicopter disappears, and I end up trying to drive a garbage truck out, and I almost make it. It almost worked. So instead, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. So, anyway, you gotta go to the Malibu Club. This is our only, I think, our only Kent Paul mission. And we go here, and we talk to Kent Paul. He's got information for us. So... I'm gonna save your beer, mate. What the hell are you talking about? You know that wanker Diaz, the buglemeister? He's got your boy Lance. Yeah, Diaz has got our boy Lance, so... It seems to me that in retrospect I may have missed some cell phone calls that I recorded, but I don't remember... I don't remember posting them. I'll have to check. Anyway, so Lance has betrayed Diaz, and Diaz found out about it, and is holding him in this junkyard. So you go to Kent Paul, and by the way, when you stop your vehicle here, whatever vehicle you decide to take, park it all the way over here. You gotta park it away from the Malibu Club, because if you park it right outside the door, it'll disappear. So anyway, we have a bar that says Lance's health. We have to get to the junkyard and get Lance before his health bar goes down. We only have to worry about the health bar until we get to Lance. Once we get to Lance, completely different mission. I mean, well, it's the same mission, but it's a completely different kind of dynamic. So this is all the way across, this is all the way across the Vice City world. So, anyway, we'll be driving to the junkyard as soon as we can. I prefer to have a rocket launcher for this, but I decided to try it without because I have the assault rifle. And it should be able to do approximately the same thing. You actually have plenty of time. A lot of walkthroughs you read for this and stuff will tell you to get a really fast car. But actually, the problem is going to be after we get Lance, we, you're going to need a durable vehicle. I've seen some suggestions that you can go to where Phil Cassidy eventually has his little thing and get the Patriot, which is a pretty tough vehicle. You, you could possibly you could possibly use an ambulance for this, I suppose. Although, I can't imagine it wouldn't flip over. I mean, like I said, I tried it with a garbage truck, which is a really tough, tough vehicle. But if anything, I might post that video, the, the, the horrible failure, I may post it just to show you the approach to bring a helicopter in. Although it wouldn't be a very good instructional video because I failed. My helicopter disappeared, so... Which I've had happen before. I've had vehicles disappear. They actually provide you with a vehicle to get out. They provide you with several, obviously. I picked up a garbage truck. I guess if you're going to pick a vehicle... But anyway, so... Okay, so the junkyard's ahead of us, so stop here because there are guys with vehicles parked. And you want to blow up these vehicles. You're going to have to drive through them, but you can kill all these guys and they won't shoot at you. And actually, to do it with a rocket launcher, you have to get close enough that they'll start shooting at you. It isn't an issue with our bulletproof car, but, you know, could be. So anyway, so just shoot these vehicles till they explode, and then you'll just be able to drive in here. Not a big deal. Then, you want to make sure before you go and you have your python equipped. Yeah, python equipped. Because it's a one-shot, one, it's a one-shot kill weapon. It's it, it seriously is. It, it's just a great weapon for this kind of mission where there's just a lot of guys and you just need to kick them off quick. So, so anyway, so Lance is in this garage in the back here, and I mean, get away from these guys and you know, shoot as many of them as you as is necessary to keep them from from shooting at you. They won't really. I mean, we have a lot of health and, and a decent amount of, of body armor. I mean, you want to come in here with full stuff. But... So anyway, just go over and bump into Lance, and he'll stand up, and there'll be this cutscene. This cutscene killed shit. my helicopter Thanks last you. time. You screwed up real good, Lance. It killed my brother. What do you expect me to do? There you go. What do you expect me to do? Mow his lawn. Diaz before he takes All us right. out. You okay to use a gun? So, I guess. Now Lance doesn't have a health bar too. anymore. Let's get out of here. But we have to get him to the hospital. Which wouldn't necessarily be a problem, but the minute we leave this... 
the minute we leave this area, there is going to be uh, four comets chasing us with guys. So, luckily, this vehicle makes us basically indestructible. I mean, as long as we're in this vehicle, we can't be shot, we can't be blown up. Our tires can't get popped. These guys can just bang themselves to death on us, hopefully. Hopefully, that's the way this is going to work. If somebody pulls us out of this car, you yeah, know, we're going to be in trouble. We don't have a wanted level. That helps a lot, actually. With the one where I failed, I had, a, like, a two-star wanted level on the way out. And so, all these cops were ramming me in this garbage truck. So yeah, as long as these guys don't get out of the vehicle to pull us out, they can ram this vehicle as much as they want. This vehicle is a, is a godsend. This vehicle is cheating. This is just the bottom line. Is it's cheating. It's not... It defeats the purpose of the way this game was meant to be played. However, this is a really hard mission for me, so I'm glad to have it. But anyway, the... Also... I think there's a way to lure the comic guys back into the junkyard and stand up on top of a pile of garbage and just shoot them with a rocket launcher if you have it. I've never done that. Um, like I said, I've, I've done this successfully with a helicopter. I think I've done it with a normal vehicle, I'm not sure. But by far, this was the easiest solution. And of course, I've, I've failed it with a garbage truck. So, so anyway, so the, the hospital you got to take lands to is is up here in, in Vice Point, which is funny because I think there's actually a closer one down in like Little Havana. But anyway, so you drop them off here, and uh, this is one of the few missions that doesn't pay anything. Just get yep. patched up, get patched up, and we'll do the next okay. mission. Okay, I got you. So Lance gets out, mission passed, and if these these comic guys follow you all the way up here, and the mission passes, uh, they'll lose interest in you. And once I got here, and they lost interest in me, and I ran over and grabbed one out of the the Porsche, but he didn't get out, and then we proceeded to struggle in the Porsche, like, where neither of us could quite control it all the way. And we drove around, like, the whole island, just me trying to get him out of there. Okay, so here's a phone call. Let's see what this is. Ah, it's Cortez. The French are giving him all kinds of trouble. <laughs> I love this. I hate the damn French, I think, is his next. I'm going to need your help as soon as possible, amigo. Yeah. So please, I hate the damn French. I love that. I, it's perfect. Um, Alright, well, I guess we're going to cut it off there. This That mission took eight minutes. So, uh, I'll see you next time when we uh, we kill Ricardo Diaz. Alright. Uh, thanks for watching. You guys take care.